Bye bye. Yo, I think that went directly. Into, well, they're, they're all dead. But like, poor driver guy, right? <laughs> hey, anyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the Beyond Camera, where tonight we're watching Twister. Why am I watching this? First of all, the sequel, reboot, spin off Twisters. I'm watching that tomorrow. And I'd like to sit down and watch the first one first, whether or not the two movies have anything in common besides their name. Secondly, my family has insisted that I have watched this movie with them, but it did come out in 1996. So there's more than a chance that I did watch it with them, but I was so young that I don't remember anything. So in all fairness, I am pretty much going into this blind. Also, Michael Crichton appears to be a writer on this movie, which is awesome because Jurassic Park and Jurassic World, I love them and they do really amazing on this channel. I think I've said enough for an intro. I don't know what else to say. So first of all, I got to thank my members, Randy Norton 3215 and my dad. Thank you guys so, so much. I really appreciate you. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you want to see more of my content, especially my reactions to movies like this one, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. But if you don't want to do either, then let's just get into the movie already. Oh, I can't forget, if you want to watch the full unedited version of this of my movie reaction, then you can become a member of the channel for as little as a dollar a month. Twister. Oh, come on. June 1969. The movie took place, I think the movie came out in 1996, so... Something tells me this is like a backstory? Oh, tornado warning. Well, that proves it. I guess everyone's gonna die. I am glad that I've never had to live in an area where I have had to worry about a tornado or a hurricane. I mean, I live in California. We have to worry about earthquakes. So it's not like I've never had to worry about anything, but... Uh, the dog is left outside. Come on, oh, they actually opened the door for the dog. Good job. Oh, shit. All this, a strong storm shelter, and the door just doesn't work? Come on. No, 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 just let it go. What? Seriously, a stupid-ass bathroom latch is the only thing that's holding your storm door on? Come back from the door. Let it go. So just leave. No. I can't hold it anymore. And you held on to it as it blew you away? If you can't hold on to it anymore, then just let it go. Okay, seems like a traumatic flashback. Uh, I'm guessing this kid is going to be a main character. Present day. Certainly isn't present day. What? <laughs> present day 1996? It'll be a record outbreak of tornadoes. Record outbreak of tornadoes? Per sounds perfect for a movie about tornadoes and storm chasers. I like the music. Oh. Crop duster and the truck. Bill Paxton? You're nervous. Hi. I wasn't expecting you. Uh, Why do I look nervous? I didn't know who was in this movie. <sighs> I just want to get it over with. I but doubt it. But she said it. she signed the papers, right? The what papers? That's what she said. Probably yeah, divorce said. papers. Yeah, I'm sorry, lady, but this is exactly the type of movie where you're going to die so that he can get back together with his uh, ex. Uh, Ellen Hunt? Uh, that's, I don't know. I don't know if I'm right on that one. Oh, I think that guy in the hat was Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yeah, it's the extreme! The extreme, huh? I uh, wonder what kind of extreme stuff you're gonna be doing this time. The prodigal son returns. Okay, okay, so he's like a big shot here, but he's trying to, what? Get out of it? Retire? Hey, Bill? I was confused for a second. Bill Paxton is named Bill in the movie as well, okay. NSSL says they've never seen anything like it. Well, I'm sure they're going to see another one like it in the Twisters movie. Yeah, yeah, sure. wonder if any of these characters will make a cameo. Hey. How would you get grass in your camera? You screwed up if you have grass in your camera. <laughs> this guy's like, okay, okay, let's get out of here. This isn't our business. Wow, you're getting married, but we're going to totally get back together by the end of the events of this movie. Oh, she's been wearing the... Ring. She's continued wearing her wedding ring all this time. I guess she really thought she'd come back. What? 
Nice to meet you. Yeah, it's totally nice to meet my husband's ex, who I've been dating all this time, and got who is my fiance, though he hasn't actually divorced his ex, his previous wife yet. I don't have a problem being a weatherman. Sounds like you have a problem with being a weatherman. Look at that chunky old brick of an old cell phone. Well, to be fair, it's not like the bricks have changed in size. We've gotten back that big again. Just not that thick again. We can do more with it. Dorothy. What about her? What about who? You got a kid? She's Who's Dorothy? Here. Ah, Dorothy. This metal can. I can't believe you did it. Did what? It's a can. Does she work? You haven't tried her yet, have you? Bunch of spinning dooley bobs. But it's inside the jar. What does this thing do? What is it? Yeah, I'd like to know that question too. But still, nobody knows how a tornado works. We Was no that true in the 1990s? Measure all parts of the tornado simultaneously. Well, now that looks familiar. They released something like that in the trailer for the second one. Though the second one did mention something about destroying tornadoes. Well, it looks like it's time for some storm chasing. Let's go. Come on, Bill, just go. You guys are... Like, you knew this was happening, right? Why are you still this unready? They live for this. They live for this? I think you mean you live for this. Even I can tell that. Nah, nah, it's, you know that's a yes. Bro, you're looking at it so longingly. Oh, man, look at that. The old-fashioned days where you're dealing with paper. I am glad I have no experience with that, because, jeez, I can't even imagine. Uh, you're either going to die or you're going to hate him. Depends on what kind of movie this is. Who are those weirdos in black? Oh, there has to be villains, right? The bad storm chasers. Son of a bitch. Well, there's the proof for that. He's a night crawler. But isn't that like a superhero? Corporate sponsors. Ugh. Corporate sponsors. Nick, money. Yeah, something tells me your Dorothy won't work so nicely. This is, uh... We got like an hour and a half left in the movie, so... Plenty of time for you to fail. <laughs> Just a bunch of tiny, small black vans. What the hell are you driving off the road for? Exactly! Oh my god. Shit, he stole your shit. An inside oh, come on. Did you, please tell me you patented that Dorothy thing. Well, no, I guess not, because he just made this. Look, here's a ball, here's a square. Clearly, it's something completely different. They, okay, I thought you were going to punch him in the face. <laughs> oh, go F off, Waster. We got on board, Paul Stoppler. We got next red real time. Wow, sounds real fancy. Neither of you, and it's not gonna work. <laughs> Come on, bro has no chill. <laughs> the guy in the back is just waving them off. Honey, is everything okay? No, he was. No, what? No, of course it's not okay. He nearly decked a guy. Okay, sweetheart. Okay. I mean, he's lying to you. I, I'd say that's the marriage on the rocks already. What are you doing, listening to the storm? Trying to figure out which way it's going? You're literally gonna do the old the, the thing of like blowing dirt in the wind to see which way it's going. <laughs> is it real? Can you actually do anything with that? Or is that just some movie? You're still in love with him, aren't you? Oof, <laughs> the look. Check please. So that's a yes. I, blame you. I just hope this isn't some desperate attempt to keep him in your life. No, this is uh, your realization that he shouldn't be in your life. Well, that feels like the sky, they've been darkened and the sky's been replaced. Ha, ah, you can see the edges of their heads. That's a school bus. I didn't notice that in the first place. Uh, getting right back in the saddle, huh? Does he have a pipe for water? And he's got a TV for music. Feels extra, don't you think? Music flaring over the horn. She definitely can't handle this. 
Yeah, maybe you should just shouldn't have just gone. You shouldn't have gone with them, huh, girl? You're doing therapy on the road. But those tops have got to be spiking about forty thousand. Yeah, That's a good thing. I know That's a very good thing. nothing about what you're saying. She Something else I need to know. Email? How much of the jargon they use in this movie are is, you know, movie f jargon or is real? Okay, wait, wait. No, I just realized. She is a therapist, which means she'll realize that her husband is still in love with, with the Joe, too. So that's why she needs to leave. Like, she won't die. I'm pretty sure you both need therapy. Uh, guys? 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 Yo, yo, yo. I know you're arguing, but can you, like... Shit. Shit. <laughs> Pay attention. Damn. No duh. Oh my god, they can all hear. Oh, it's over there. I thought we were going off-roading for a second, but there's a convenient road there too. Oh, come on. You see those skid marks and you just assume? Copycat. You lame-ass copycats. Can't even pick your own roads. So what's gonna fail here? Go in there, go in there, right? I just assume that the gadget's gonna fail. Cause he's the prodigal son, he's the magic uh, wind reader. Oof. <laughs> Extra camera shake and everything. Up oh, there is the tornado. Of course he's mad. Man, look at the destruction. I am interested to see what the destruction will look like with modern day CGI. Oh, come on, you could definitely get out of there oh come on you should have gone out way farther damn it God, why can't we spend a normal day together because you're storm tracers this is a normal day for you well okay there you go they have to give it up i'm assuming the thing won't survive hide something to hold on to now i'm just gonna stare directly in the storm oh she was doing that as a kid too right just staring out the window into the storm. You know, consistency. Oh, yeah, that's that's not good. Yeah, you, if the metal truck is moving, this thing is gonna. Li oh, bye bye. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh god. Isn't the freakiest part. This isn't some crazy. This is real. It'll just pick up cars and trucks and just. Fling her out. Just air. You know, hot air meets cold air meets pff, throw flying cars. Where's my truck? He just said it's gone. Well, actually, no, it's over there. That's awesome. That's, That's awesome. not the thing she wants to hear right now. No, she's not okay. It's over. It's over. It's all over. Okay. It's not over because the movie is not even close to being over. I mean, it's not that bad. <laughs> to be all fairness, it could be much worse. Late as usual, folks. Why does he care? <laughs> God, he's so insane. Like, one of my mo like, I know Philip Seymour Hoffman mostly from his role in Mission Impossible. So, no, a very serious bad guy. So to come here and watch this entire, this complete goofball is hilarious. She's already doing it. No way. You can say that all you want, but there you go. <laughs> Hell yeah, if you keep losing vehicles like that when they get picked up and tossed, no wonder you have such cheap trash. Another thing I'm interested in seeing in the Twisters movie is how does more modern storm chasing work? Right? The simple fact of the matter is that technology is so much better than it used to be. So, wait, wait, wait. Uh, so much better than it used to be. So, are these guys still necessary? Like this. Look, these guys may be the villains, but that is the future. Uh, whether these guys, the plucky group of heroes wants to face it or not, right? Like, that is the future, not the whole flipping in the dirt and seeing the future and thing, right? What are you doing? What are you doing? Could you at least warn the rest of your crew so you don't cause a pileup? Look at the 
Oh, never mind. Where's the rest of your crew? Your crew? Are you sure? Of course he's sure. He's magic. When has he been wrong? <laughs> Is this entire movie just gonna be this one chase? Hey, did this woman come out to lose her husband right here now? Shit, it's moving away! <laughs> no duh! Like you were everything. smart enough to follow him the first time. Why didn't you do it now? Reproductive therapist. A reprodu- okay. That's a not the type of therapist I was expecting. But it kind of makes the first conversation make more sense. Looks like you're on the same course, but let's see what happens. Alright, just them. Let's go. I've heard, also heard that this movie is basically like a Dodge Ram commercial. Or just a truck commercial. Yeah, there's a Jeep, there's a Chevy, this is a Ram. Horizontal raid. Hang on. Horizontal raid. You know, what I have experienced is uh, upside down raid. Well, I've never seen One time um, in Switzerland, I was uh, at the top of a mountain, right? And during this one section, one, uh, there's like a rope bridge section. And you could, the water is literally smacking you from underneath you because the wind is pushing it up this way. Oh shit, that just like split up in two. Girl, mute the phone. Oh shit, sorry CGI cow. <laughs> Cal. No duh. I got it. That's a bye, Cal. Sorry again, Cal. Another Cal. Oh, another Cal. Actually, I think that was the same. Ah, one. see, I thought it was the same one too. Please don't tell me you're gonna lose this truck too. Uh, uh, release your device. You might want to just activate the Dorothy while you're in here. Just, just, just launch the thing. No. Just gonna spin around. There are three of them. Or none of them. They're all gone. The closest thing I've ever seen to a tornado is small little dust devils that form in alleyways and such. Did you see that? Well, I'm sure it would be an incredible experience, you know, as, as long as you didn't die. As is a lot of thrill activities. It's a lot of fun, as long as you don't die. Don't forget to hydrate, folks. Guys, we are not invading my aunt. Clearly, you are invading your aunt. <laughs> That's why you don't tell your employee, tell these people with too much backstory. They'll use it against you. That's a fancy set of wind chimes. Come on, honey. Why is your wife in the back seat again? Seriously, you're not even storm chasing this time. But you know, your wife is in the back seat. Fiance is in the back seat. Just slopping it all on. She is so uncomfortable with every single thing. No! Shut up! Turn him off. <laughs> what a wiener. I agree. He really is. I'm wondering why, why do you call Billy the extreme? Because Billy is the extreme. Okay, boring. Can someone else please explain properly? <laughs> I was not naked. <laughs> See, there was another Bill, uh, an evil Bill. That's it. And I killed it. That's all you got. <laughs> is there an F5? Duh. Everyone goes silent. That be because right. that's the thing, right? Thunder Everyone's the most horrible thing. And uh, yeah, the finger of God. Of Guess what's gonna be in the end of the movie? Oh, an F5 tornado is what killed her he father. He's here, isn't he? And you're pining hard for him. And clearly you're breaking up his ma marriage just by being here. Please leave the wife here this time. Why do you keep sticking with the Dusty? Like, why not put him in the other guys? There was a dog here? Was there a dog here the entire time? Was that the dog from the beginning? Cruise out and rolling again! Massive chunk of this movie is just driving footage. See what kind of- I'm, I just want to see what kind of vehicles- Crazy vehicles show up in the next one. Uh, really? Really? Is it really now to have an intimate moment? Just the epitome of completely uncomfortable. Will they have someone be her character again? The fish out of water, completely uncomfortable with everything person? <laughs> Seriously? Oh, you see my shortcut? Just smash through the trees. Who needs about roads? 
Shit. <laughs> Movie luck almost crashes into the. Do you want to drive? Just turn. Just turn. Like everything in this movie so far is clear. I'm glad there's a little street road for them to turn into, but come on. Yes, follow you idiots. Oh, come on. You made the right choice the first time and now you're just screwing yourselves? How many times does this guy have to magically know where the, fo where the tornado is going for you to trust him? Where are you guys looking? Guys, is it behind you? Are they really being snuck up on by a tornado? This is the one, man. I feel it. Well, you're incorrect. Time for deployment, guys. Let's do it. All right, let's see what this thing's got. But it's still gonna fail. I have experienced hail once before in California. That one time it was hailing. God, it was nuts. California, the place where it basically never rains. It was always on fire. Suddenly ice was falling from the sky. Seriously, hail is like was definitely one of those types of weather conditions that is like gets so close to the planet being completely inhospitable. He's not talking about Billy, is he? Of course he is. At what point do you realize that your husband is way extra? So this is why you have the remotes of this thing extending into the car. Jeez, just the black Sw touching down. Correct! Why are you even out here? Crazy? No, no, I'm pretty sure your husband is the craziest one of all them all. The rest of them keep saying that. I keep saying your husband, your fiance. She's his husband. That's just a boat. <laughs> Seriously, whether this. Jesus! CGI fireball, what, what exploded? It's a black tornado, CGI fireball. You're making this thing look as evil as possible. Great, even the power lines are coming off. This is why you need a quick release system. Never mind, Carlin just leaving. Ah, oh, shit. I was gonna say, well, it's off the truck, but um, those balls are not supposed to be outside. Are you serious? It just peaced out? The cone of silence. What with these terms? This seems like a bad thing. Is, it, is the tornado about to ju jump scare you? Back building, cone of silence, jumper. What? Oh, man. Well, I expected it to fail, but not in this way. I thought it just wouldn't work. Christ, Joe, is that what you think it did? Okay, clearly you've got some tornado trauma here. Killing yourself won't bring your dad back. I mean, he's not wrong. You're just... You gotta move on. Oh. Yes, everyone can hear that. The radio's on the whole time. Really? Him reprofessing his love and support for her? Right? Does... Can we have an explanation for why this uh, fiancé is even part of the movie? I mean, she could have just not... Right? We could have had some other newbie that could have been our exposition character. But it's not like they're doing much exposition anyway. Da -da -da. If that happens, something bad will happen. Oop, The Shining. Should I watch The Shining? Horror movies have never really gotten to me, but... Actually, I should sure, probably... This is why I ask. It's The Shining. Oh, she's taking the pen. I'll finally sign your paper just as the wife, the fiance, decides that she doesn't want to marry, marry him anymore. That was not the page you forgot to sign. There was no red sticker tag on it. Whether the funnel will carry him like we thought. Well, yeah. Too light? No, they're just balls. Uh, maybe the whole thing's too light. What I'm more worried about is the, why they think the little golf balls would all be picked Thank up. You. You have an easier chance of picking them up if... I don't know, if you had a little flaps on them or something. TV flickers! Just like the, the ripples in the glass when the T-Rex stomps. TV flickering. The wind is picking up. The tornado is coming. Even she knows by now. <laughs> 
It's on its way. You need to go underground. Don't even stay up here. Don't even waste time. Shit. <laughs> the Ching just loomed out of the darkness. I really love how they're treating these tornadoes like movie, like monsters or creatures. You really get that Michael Crichton feel out of that Jurassic Park feel. I know you're addicted, but like, could you stare somewhere safer? Isn't there any kind of tornado sirens or something? Why aren't they on? Okay, good. Did you notice that the kid wasn't there? Cause like sitting in the car wasn't a good idea. Avai shining. Look, look, if you were worried about more glass and stuff falling, maybe not stare up into it. Yeah, I wasn't really thinking this building was gonna be that stable. But at least it has some kind of brick and concrete foundations. Oh shit! Oh, watch out, hubcaps! Oh shit! It's alright, it's alright, Headwood's just bleeding a lot. Well, I mean, PG 13 movie, I guess in this case, head wounds don't bleed that much. Look at that. His fiance is like, I'm. Oh shit, car! <laughs> His fiance is freaking. And he's just staring at his wife. Which is a weird sentence. Wait, that was your own car. It was one of your own cars thrown into another one. And here's the sign just to boot. Was there really nowhere else? Well, if she wasn't gonna leave you before, she sure as hell is now. Uh oh. Jingle jangle. The tornado's after you too. Well, and you've got a whole alarm system right there. What? She's leaving you right here now. This is it. Please. You're not wrong, but like, it's really kind of rude. It's like, I'm right in the middle of all this, stands to run off to try and save someone's life. And just say goodbye. We're broken up. What's that mean? What's that mean? It means this is a movie, and the plot has decided you must be a nice fiance, and leave, so that the trying, so nobody feels sad about the whole situation. Well, you certainly did not get there on time. Ah, the olden days, where they made an entire destroyed town set. Am I crazy, or didn't, or did the destroyed town? Wasn't that in? Isn't that in the Universal Studios backlog? Well, the Twister used to be a ride at Universal Studios. Now is the aunt alive? Is the dog alive? There was a dog too. Why are you going into the house? Wouldn't these people have storm shelters? Why did none of these people have storm shelters? The dog's alive. We gotta get this off over. Hang on. Okay, she's alive for now, but please don't let her die. But now, oh shit, shit. The TVs back then are so much. Oh come on! Are you hanging by the internet cable? Not fine. Very bad. Maybe don't get on the collapsing house. All right. Looks like she's coming out. Vicky's a little shaken up. A little. The dog's freaking. No clue why why it's not barking its head off right now. Is she okay? So I'm just gonna drive myself. It's like your car is stranded on a tree. Okay. Okay. Well, you got out just in time. Thank you, plot convenient house, for just holding your own. F5 tornado. What I say is the finale. Let's go. Okay, but like, what do you do? You're you're. Your Dorothy's been like else. tossed all over the road. You go stop it. You go stop it. I love how they're like go stop the tornado just by like releasing the Dorothy once. Let's be frank here. This is science. Releasing the Dorothy won't do it once. Won't do anything. You need to consistently do it towards a whole bunch of tornadoes for years on end. I'm guessing which is why the sequel is actually like let's destroy tornadoes. See, there was a Dorothy-like thing in the trailer. Will they use that to destroy tornadoes or what? 
I know how to make Dorothy fly. Oh, hey, I was right. Didn't I say to put some kind of wings on it? Well, these are more like helicopter rotors, but like, yeah, you get the point. But do you even have another Dorothy? Oh, the last Dorothy. So you've got a couple going on. All right, that's good. Oh, so you had like three? The first one is just destroyed. They didn't, the second one was loaded up on the red truck. Now you got a third one. Oh, it's like, okay, cut to them chasing a tornado and immediately just like the adventure music as they're just driving. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Uh, yeah, that looks very bad. What happened to the end, like the other storm chaser guys? They're just gone in this half of the movie. I feel like that was miscut because the very first thing bucket he poured in was already okay. He's got two of them. <laughs> now, can you please activate these things without having to get out on the back of the truck? Back in business. Stop chasing it. Okay, it looks like it's just gonna cross the street right now. What? What? <laughs> nice, nice move. How are you picking that thing up? It's gotta be so heavy. You're only releasing one of them? There's 24 minutes left in the movie, so... This one ain't working. This is it. Yeah, you totally jinxed it. Both of you right now. Idiots. You wouldn't have an extra one if this one was gonna work. It's too light. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Look at it. It's gonna pick up the whole jar. Nope. CGI tree says no thanks. Okay. I think next you just gotta leave it on the truck. Just le let go. You can't get off the truck and run. What, is it going to evolve into an F6? It's a, what is that? What is that? That's a truck. Move. Your ass. The semi truck is, get out of the car. Oh God, it's a gas truck too. Ha, <laughs> thanks truck. He like pushed you off the tree. <laughs> Truck's like, ah, oh, thought I was gone. Round two. Oh, come on, at least it turned into fire. Why more trucks? How many flaming petroleum trucks did it pick up? Last one. Of today. For now. Seriously, the worst case scenario is you have to wait and build, build a couple more and try on the next tornado. Oh, here was they are. The black van division. Unlikely. Not unless they anchor the pack. Seriously? Sci scientists on both sides didn't think about that simple thing? Jonas, listen to me. They're gonna come right at you. You copy. He doesn't care. If you want your opinion, I'll give it to you. Man, just listen to the driver. He's the smartest guy here. It's unbelievable. Listen, driver. Turn around, dude. Who is the driver? Who is this Eddie guy? He looks familiar too. What is he been? Bye-bye? Yo, I think that went directly into- Well, they're, they're all dead. But like, poor driver guy, right? Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> he told you. That's- <laughs> You gotta love how those old explosions are so obviously like 2D graphics. <laughs> What's in front of you? Oh, come on! Oh, yeah, yeah, that's just just debris. Just flying through tractors being thrown at you. Seriously, now I'm super excited to see tomorrow's movie, because, like, modern-day action thrown on this? A fucking house! <laughs> I'm screaming. Oh, man, look at this. What a shot. I have no clue 
how they would be able to take this path through the house that way. But it looked, sure as hell looked cool, didn't it? <laughs> Maybe we should get off of this road. Oh, uh, no. Stay on it. That's fine. Just dish, dish the car and you're good. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Why did he have to do so much setup the first time? What a plot. Just drive straight into it. Yeah, <laughs> go ahead. What are you gonna do? There's a cruise control back in 1996. Just ditch that out of the car. Okay, go. Kind of feel like smacking through corn is gonna make dipping out of the car extra difficult. Just, just go. Go already. Go. 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 Up. Oh, they're lit up. Like fly, fireflies. This kiss. You're still married. Dorothy's flying! <laughs> Dorothy's flying man. Good for you! Very first success. Now you just gotta repeat this many, many times. Yeah, it's uh, coming back at you. <laughs> at least they have the good sense to some run sideways. But as it was helpfully mentioned earlier, very large tornado. There is nothing I can see here. Sorry, horses. You're dead. <laughs> Fence peeled away. Something tells me this bar won't be barn won't be standing by the time this is over. Oh come on! Just had to pick the building first and full of sharp objects. <laughs> oh my god, who are these people? Uh, murderers? Yeah, no doubt. Get out of here. Why are there more? That's a fence is being shot in. Find safety first. Scream later. Oh, uh, shoot. There are about to be very sharp things be flying at you, too. This tornado is like after you would in particular. Seriously, like, look, every large thing is just being tossed directly at it. Tornado's like, how dare you release tiny little robots within me? Oh my god, here it is again, the stupid little star room door. We had your two, we might have a chance! Well, good thing you got chains here. Well, at least they're being smart. Even if you can't stay in shelter, tie yourself to the these pipes. I would have used the chains though. Less comfortable, but less likely to break. Well, hey, hey, she's going back inside of an F5 tornado. So, you know, he's going to realize he loves her still, and his fiance is out of the picture. And she's back inside the tornado like she wanted to be. So that's going to fix all her tornado related, his psychic issues, psychological issues. Tornado inside a tornado. Just like that. It's over. Imagine these guys coming out of their storm shelter to find random people tied to some pipes. Hey, the horse is alive. Somehow. <laughs> you can just hear them coming from a distance just by the music being played. You're doing the analysis. I'm running. <laughs> well, at least you're back together. No, even. Not even talking about it. Do you always have to do things the hard way? Yes. But guys, you can't just jump into an early warning system, right? You gotta test a few more tornadoes. <laughs> yep, that is a happy ending. Well, that was Twister, and it was a hell of a movie. I don't think I have too much to say, except that it was fun. It was definitely a thriller, right? The way... You, you can feel Michael Crichton in it. Like, the way that the tornadoes were around, you made them black, right? You, the way they acted was always like they were beasts chasing around the main characters, constantly pelting them with all these manner of items. And it felt more like they were enemies in the field rather than just like, oh, there's a natural phenomenon going on. Effects, I mean, they were good for 1996, but it was 1996. Like I said in the reaction itself, makes me eager to see tomorrow what Today's graphics can do. Characters, like, the characters were great. I still think the whole fiance divorce paper thing was tad unnecessary, but 
regardless, her freaking out was fun in comparison to him just like getting back in the slick of things. Side story of Joe and Bill like rediscovering their romance after being separated for so long. That was a cute little romance. Thrills were thrilling. The romance was cute. The adventure was fun. I didn't expect it to be like one long thing, right? They do this, they fail, they try again, they fail again, they try again. All back to back to back stuff. It was still cool. Not the best movie, but a definite classic. Glad to have finally seen it. Look, it's one in the morning. I'm tired. By this point, I'm watching the, the Twister, the next movie today, not tomorrow. So let's end it off here. Last thing. I don't use stars or numbers to rate movies. What I always do is one simple thing. If this movie were to show up on TV, would I stay and watch it or would I change the channel? The answer to this movie is absolutely yes. It's a fun little mo it's a fun movie to watch, to sit down and just like watch on TV. It would be fun to watch with other people. It would be fun to watch with family. And yeah, I don't know. I got nothing else to say. Thank you so much for watching this reaction. What was your favorite part of this movie? And do you want to see my reactions to Twisters? Over here is whatever YouTube decides to show you. Over here is a playlist of my videos. And on my face is the subscribe button. Like, comment, subscribe. Criticize even. I don't mind. See ya!